this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. So this is being recorded on the 24th. So you can say the 24th through the 31st, but then again, it's seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? You may hear my cat purring. I can't stop it from happening. So anyhow, what do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo for the next seven days? What do we have for Leo for the next seven days? Maybe you're going to be purring. March is significant. Could be dealing with somebody that is born in the month, month of March. Okay. Um, could be an Aries, could be a Pisces, or something that happened in a previous March is coming to fruition now. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Now you are a very fixed energy, so that could be you, okay? It doesn't have to be, it could be the other person. It's right next to that March card. I just picked up the deck, coins. Money will be coming to you. So maybe there's some money that's gonna be coming to you. Maybe something that happened in March, maybe now you're gonna get your payout or it's coming from somebody that was born in March or who knows, but there's gonna be an increase in money in the near future. So what do we have for Leo? We got one cat over there, one cat right here. Anyhow, what do we have for Leo? Ooh, you may need to block somebody. You may need to block somebody this week. Ooh, boxing gloves. You may be up against some sort of competition. Yeah, you might have to get out the old uh, boxing gloves. You could also be putting them up. Could go either way, okay? Maybe you're gonna hang up the boxing gloves or it's time to take them out. Could go either way. Unexpected help is arriving. So you have some, this is a wish, right? That's a star. So some sort of unexpected help is arriving, okay? Has something to do with March. Either the person is born in March that's gonna be helping you or something like that. What do we have for Leo? Maybe you have blocked somebody and because that card block them came out reverse, but I'm not doing those in reverse. So I'm wondering if you have blocked somebody and now they're ready, they're ready to fight for it. You know, maybe you've blocked somebody and you know, they're, they're ready to put in effort now. I don't know. Mm. Door to personal healing and happiness. So the storm is over. You have a new door that is opening. Okay. I don't know why that isn't zooming. Um, but anyhow, so you, you, this is beautiful. So you're going through a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new doorway. There's personal healing and happiness that is going to be uh, starting this week. If it hasn't started already. You know, when I see the lotus, you're obviously been through some sort of muddy situation and you're going to be coming out more beautiful than ever. Oh, there it is. We got... Ooh, you ready for this? Soulmates. Soulmates. Now, we have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. A soulmate can be a friend. A soulmate can be a mother, a father, a child. Um... A partner soulmates is not just lovers okay so I need to uh, reiterate that because people see soulmates and they automatically think about that person that they want to sleep with no soulmates can be somebody else okay it can be it's somebody that you are connected to for some reason this person came into your life to teach you a lesson or they're coming into your life to teach you a lesson okay soulmates Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. You are meant to evolve and transform with a compassionship, 
companionship of others. Certain people enter your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience. Let me just say that one more time, okay? Because some people didn't hear that part. It is always a reciprocal experience. Although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you towards them and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially. Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you couldn't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. Consider love in the deepest sense, love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long the relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate. The soulmate has come to guide you home to the real you. An important relationship brings you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve you well, that don't serve your well-being, enter into this dynamic so you can heal them. This person is called to a sacred task to help you learn, even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky, or even inconceivable. The question is not why did he or she do this to me, but rather what is the gift in this? Look into this mirror. You will only be changed for the better. So there's a soulmate, okay? There's a soulmate here that is changing you for the better. All right. You may need to block somebody, okay? You may need to block somebody at this time. Maybe, maybe the time is up. Maybe it's time for you to go through that door to personal healing and happiness. She's going after my earrings. That's, that's the deal breaker. So anyhow, um, not going to give up. Come on. Listen. What are we going to do with you? Right over here. Try it right here. No. <laughs> I've got to have it. Sorry. I've got to have it. Not going to take no for an answer, I doubt. Eight of Pentacles reverse, not working out, something's not working out, grieving over a loss, crying over the spilled milk. Somebody's not putting in effort, they've given up, and I feel like you're grieving, you're grieving over a loss, not realizing that there's another opportunity, that you're missing an opportunity, or you're not seeing it, maybe you're just going through a period of grief right now. Temperance reverse. Profound self-healing is needed. It's not time to engage in new things. I feel like you need to heal. You need to heal from some sort of loss. Obviously, the death came before this. So death is an end of a situation. Something has ended and you have healing, okay? You have to heal during this time. You may be feeling emotionally unstable. Maybe you're emotionally unstable during this time. I feel like there's some sort of inconsistency here. You need to really manage your feelings during this time. 
Maybe you need to not put in effort. You, maybe you need to give up. You need to give up. You do. You need to give up. Do not give your time and energy to whatever this is. I feel like there's frustrations. Healing is needed. You, there could be even some poor health here. Uh, we could have had onset of poor health with that temperance reversed. Um, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Um, could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's not putting in effort. There's, there could be some addictions here that are getting in the way. We have somebody here that has some sort of addictions. They're not able to manage them. There's something here that is unmanage, unmanageable. Death reversed. Woo, I was clarifying that temperance card. It's like holding on, holding on to something that has ended uh, or you've been holding on and it's getting old. It's, it's like... Uh, there's a need to evolve, there's a need to accept, there's a need to release, but it's hard. It's really, really hard. Um, I feel like uh, there's been a delay in you receiving whatever it is that you've been trying to get. I'm sorry for this distraction. Maybe you've been distracted or something like that. Death card reverse. Holding on is getting old. This is like a... Uh, I feel like we have somebody here. It's like a near-death experience. It's something is off. We have somebody here that is very, very, very unhealthy. They're not doing. They're not putting in much effort to change. They're not. They're unwilling to change. Somebody's unwilling to change here, and then we have someone who's extremely stubborn, unwilling to change. Okay, that's very clear. Okay, with the temperance reversed and the eight of pentacles reversed and then that card, whoever you're dealing with is not going to change. Okay, they're not going to change. And I feel like you're grieving over the truth, you know, that this person is never going to change. Um, and the temperance is a card of a lesson. It's a lesson. And it's interesting that it's the soulmates, they bring people into your life to teach you a lesson. So somebody has been brought into your life to teach you a lesson. World reversed. Oh my God. Flogging a dead horse. Resisting change. Not learning from past mistakes. Repeating. Repeating negative patterns with both the temperance and the world reversed. You're repeating negative patterns and you haven't learned your lesson yet. That's why they keep bringing you these people because you haven't learned. You haven't learned. God damn it. Excuse my language. Whew. There is a need. There is a need to stop repeating. You need to stop repeating those negative patterns. You need to... What do they need to do? What's the advice? Six of Wands. Be confident. Hold your head up high. Be proud of who you are. You need to be proud of who you are. You have a lot of respect from others. Don't, don't uh, lower your values. Don't lower your standards. You are a leader. Remember who you are. Son of a gun. Victory after sorrow. You need to go in a new direction. You need to stop fighting. You need to stop playing games. You start, need to stop engaging you in sort of some sort of competition. It's like you just need to go. You need to stop engaging. Stop playing. Stop playing with this player, whoever it is that you've been playing with. You've been playing games with somebody. I think that we have an unsuccessful completion of a journey and it because you may not see it as successful but it was this is going right next to the world reversed it was successful because it's teaching you a lesson even though you don't know it you may not know that it's teaching you a lesson but it is I feel like you are you I have a lot to be proud of I feel like you have a lot of support around you I also feel like you have an unexpected choice in love here. You have another option. I mean, this, this love is, is soulmates, potential soulmates. I feel like there is somebody that is around you that you have missed, okay, because the Five of Cups is here. It's like you've been focusing on some sort of loss with an individual where it isn't working out, you know, probably hoping for a reunion or a resurrection or for this person to... Uh, do something because that's the uh, temperance reverse it's like uh, hoping for a reunion hoping that this is going to end with the world reverse hoping that it's not over I think that you've been hoping that something isn't over but it is over um, 
flogging this dead horse. It is definitely a dead end. I feel like you have another opportunity here that is a better match, that is better suited for you. I feel like you... Um, For some of you, I feel like you are going through a period of healing. I feel like you're still in some sort of pain. Maybe it's over a rejection or over, you know, somebody that didn't see your value. Uh, I feel like this person um, was playing with you. But I feel like you've reached a point. I feel like you've reached a point where you know that it's over. But accepting it is still hard. You still have, you're still in the process accepting it and I think that you're making progress I think that you are making good progress at accepting it anyhow I do believe that what you don't see coming is an unexpected opportunity an unexpected union an unexpected partnership you don't see it coming this may be a perfect match this may be somebody that is very very well suited for you okay um, this it's not who you think it is okay it's not it's not who you think it is because that's unexpected. This, is, this person may not be your usual type. When, when this angel brings this person into your life, you may, you may question it. You may be like, are you sure this is the one? Yes, this is the one. This is somebody that is very noble, that is very um, courageous. This is somebody that has a high respect, has a lot of respect for others and has gained respect in their community. So this is whoever this person is that is coming in. Can you just lay down for a minute, please? So, um, Ace of Wands. Some of you may have a new partner here, a new exciting opportunity, a new beginning. Um, just go for it. So I do believe that you do have something new here it's, that is coming in. This is very exciting. Um, whoever is coming in, like I said, is noble. This person is highly respected. It's not your usual type at all. Um, and I feel like you're, you're not right. It feels like you're, you, it's unexpected. It's extremely unexpected. It's not who you think it is. It's not who you think it is. Um, I think whoever you were dealing with may have been, who you were dealing with in the past that you were connected to. This may have been, had something to do with sex. You know, maybe it was a sexual attraction. It was something like that. I feel like they, this person may even have sex addictions or they have drug or alcohol addictions. And this person, whoever that you were dealing with is, uh, well, it's a dead end. It is a dead end. And I feel like you are about to embark on a new journey, okay, with that ace of wands that is a new start. It's a fresh start, starting over basically from scratch. Um, it's a new vision, right? So I think that you're going to get a new vision. Then we just got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is somebody that is very logical, look, taking a new approach, um, a new perspective. I feel like you're gaining some sort of new perspective. Somebody may be giving you a new perspective or you're just realizing something. Maybe some truth has come out or you're getting an epiphany or something like that. I feel like you're going to be making a decision based on some sort of truth in the next week, okay, with that Ace of Wands. I think within the next week, you're going to be making a very prominent decision. You're going to be moving in a new direction. I think there is somebody that, I feel like we even, I mean, when I see the Six of Wands, I think of the Six of Wands as a warrior, okay? I feel like there's a warrior here that is taking charge that is that is being guided okay being urged to step forward being urged to stop playing games being urged to stop fighting and maybe that's why they the i mean the the gloves could be putting up the gloves it's like you know what i'm blocking you i'm not playing i'm not playing i mean if you think about boxing it is a game i'm not playing this is the end of games it's the end of a conflict it really is it's the end of a battle it's like i'm all done i'm all done i'm all done I'm all done. And this is the Queen of Wands is very smart, very, very intelligent, making an intelligent decision. And I feel like you're just uh, going to be doing something that is very logical. I feel like you're going to be... Some of you may be choosing to cut somebody out. I mean, that is the sword that cuts. Maybe you're cutting somebody out just like that. And it could be very suddenly. I just put it right on top of the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is sudden. Sudden. It could be a sudden epiphany, a sudden cut. You know, I'm just suddenly cutting somebody out of my life. Suddenly blocking somebody. So you may be suddenly blocking somebody going in a new direction. You may also need to think fast. 
okay? Because the Queen of Swords is right on top of the Ace of Wands. Okay, the, the Queen of Swords is a thinker, and the Ace of Wands is fast. And then we have that six, that six of Wands right next to it. Somebody could be coming towards you. It could be very sudden, and you have to think fast. You have to be, you have to think really fast. Maybe somebody approaches you, and you have to come up with a response really, really fast this week. So be prepared for that. You could have somebody new that is coming into your life with that lover's card. This could be another soulmate that has come in to teach you a lesson. Maybe this person has come in to help you heal from the last one, because I do see that healing is needed. Um door to personal healing and happiness is opening okay you may have somebody here that is a warrior this person is a warrior they're highly respected that is coming in now they're helping you to uh step out of that previous phase of your life because the world card is reversed it feels like you haven't quite stepped forward you're still grieving over that loss but I do believe that you have somebody here that can help you. I do believe that you do. Um, we do have a warrior here that is going to be, I feel like they're going to be making you an exciting offer because it goes six of wands, ace of wands. This is some an, an, an offer to go in a new direction or it, may, it could be an offer or an invite or whatever it is. This is somebody that is going to be giving you an opportunity that is exciting and you're going to have to think fast and make a decision. This person is uh, highly respected and I think that you should give them a chance. Good luck. 